And he's also got two players to act behind him. All in. But wow. he's gone all in here. What is this about? Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> David Williams with a queen nine releases. Benjamin out. Now back around to Sean Buchanan. Now remember, he just limped in that last hand. Eric went over the top of him for all his chips. Now he's raised, and again, Eric's gone all in over the top of him. And he's going to lay it down. An amazing bold all-in bets by Eric Baldwin. And Vince, there's no doubt in my mind, he's factoring into the equation the difference in prize money between fourth and first place, which is $1.2 million. It's 700000 difference between fourth and second place. So by moving all-in, that's the seed that's planting these guys' heads that they better not fool with him, that they're liable to go out in fourth place. Well, he is looser than a gymnast in a steam room right now, but it is paying off. Let's go back down to the felt. Action's going to be on David Benjamin. And this time, David has a king eight. And he's been sitting out a while now. Picks up a king eight of diamonds, going to raise it, makes it 355,000 to go. Sean Buchanan goes away. Now Eric Baldwin with just a five and ten. Let's see if it comes back to reality with this horrible yeah. hand. <laughs> Man, he and David Benjamin have about exactly the same amount of chips, 3.1 million. All in. Oh, no. He can't do this. Unbelievable. He's going for the hat trick, folks. He's not gonna try three this. all in bets in a row with three garbage oh, hands. It's going to work. That's why this guy is the 2009 card player, player of the year, for making bold plays like that. And this is the final table of the WPT World Championship against phenomenal players. We're coming back to the WPT World Championship in just a moment here on the World Poker Tour. I have an absolute blast. <laughs> I can't believe some of the people that think that doing this for a living is a grind. I enjoy myself. There's always eight or nine interesting characters at your table. You always see something that's hilarious. You guys can laugh. I don't mind. I'm just thoroughly entertained. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We're at the Bellagio, and right now we are down to four players. And Mike, it is bully time. Guys are pushing all in at every moment. Well, Vince, I've been entertained by Eric's play. All he in. has moved all in three times in a row with junk hands and won every all pot in. by coming over the top of these guys. Folks, let me tell you, when you're playing for $1.5 million and a WPT World Championship title, it's not easy to pull the trigger in battle against world-class players, yet this guy has done it, Vince. Very impressive. Well, pretty amazing, and as you can see, the chip cat, David Williams out in front with over $11 million. He's a chip leader. Well, indeed he is. But Eric Bowen has certainly earned about the last 1.4 million of his stack by moving in with junk. All right, he slows down right here as he folds his hand. And now it's on David Williams with a jack eight. I'm a little surprised he laid that down on the button. He's got a big chip lead and just going to sit back a while. All right, battle of the blinds. The Parisian with a six deuce of diamonds. And he'll just be content to call it. And Sean with a 7-4, happy to see a flop. So again, these two WPT champions going at it. Flop comes Jack, 7-deuce. David Benjamin's flop bottom pair. Check. He checks. Check. Sean Buchanan's flop middle pair, and he also checks. Then there, turn card coming up. Oh, beautiful Whoa. card for David Benjamin. He now has two pair and the best hand. It's a kind of card that looks very unsuspecting. So he's going to lead out and bet 190,000. Buchanan with the sevens is going to tag along, makes the call. Well, you can't blame him for calling no. the two sevens. And oh. now he's hit sevens and four, yeah, so Sean beautiful. Buchanan has outdrawn Benjamin on the river. Oh, I can't give it. Sean Buchanan two pair. Both players have two pair. They both started with junk. They both made two pair and let the fireworks begin. Right. And a half a million David Benjamin putting in. Now, if you're sitting in Sean Buchanan's seat, you're saying, hmm, well, I thought I made the best hand, yet this guy's still betting 500000 Could he have possibly made a straight on me? Did he make jacks up? Two pair. Sean's going to just call. Benjamin says two pair, but they're not good enough. And the Frenchman looks like he just choked on a baguette right there. Well, Vance, what he's choking on is he's saying, geez, 
Finally made a junk hand of two pair. The guy never took a raise in the pot, yet I lost that hand. Things just not going well for David Benjamin so far tonight. But the cannon takes down a good one. Sean Buchanan going for a second WPT title tonight. In addition, he's going for the WPT Player of the Year for Season 8. If he can win this tournament tonight, he'll capture that honor as well. But he's got to beat some of the great ones, and one of them is Eric Baldwin from Wisconsin. He folds his hand. Eric bluffed all in three times in a row with nothing. He finally picks up an ace high and folds. David Williams this time going out. Well, again, it's a battle of the blinds between David Benjamin and Sean Buchanan. We've seen this act over and over tonight. Check it. They both got awful hands again. We're going to see a flop. 8-6 up against Jack-9. Here we go. And the flop comes ace, ace, six. So Benjamin's out flopped. Sean here. He's got two pair, aces and sixes. He's reaching for chips. Going to bet 200,000. Now, what's the cannon thinking? Wait a second. If David right. had an ace. And he's going to raise it here, Vince. Makes it 565,000 to go. But Benjamin's not going to buy the fact he's got an ace because he didn't raise it before the flop. I'm all in. Wow. Benjamin going back over the top all in. Well, just great poker knowledge and instincts and knowing where you're at and the situation. I think it was a bad time for Sean to come over the top there. Well, Frank's been soft with him like a pane of glass. So David Benjamin saying, Monsieur, you can only push me so far. I'm tappy. I'm all in. I spit on that hat. <laughs> We're coming back to world action from the WPT World Championship in just a moment. Stay with us. Tonight's World Poker Tour brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. We are back here at Bellagio for the WPT World Championship. Hi, I'm Vince Van Patten alongside Mike Sexton. And there you see our chip leader, David Williams, over 11 million in chips, the only player that has above average chips. The winner tonight going to take home 1.5 million. The runner-up taking home over a million as well. So big prize money on the line for these guys. All right. To the table we go. David Williams, 29 years old, our big chip leader. This time with an ace five, he's got a muck. Benjamin also going away. So we got the battle of the blind. Sean Buchanan got a pair of eights here. But look at this, Vince. He just limps in, and I think he's limping in in hopes that Eric Bowen goes all in one more time like he's done before. The last time he limped in with the queen four, Eric went all in with the jack five against him. Will he do it here with the ace deuce? Eric has been plunging away. This time he does have a pretty good ace deuce. He's looking at his man, staring the cannon down. Will he plunge again? Bowen. Yes, he does. Well, at least plunging quickly called by Sean. And Vince, that was a setup play by Sean Buchanan. Right. Good luck, sir. He had full intention of calling with those two eights if the guy moved all in. Didn't hesitate to do so. Has the best hand. But still, his hand has to hold up, Vince. Otherwise, he'll be our fourth place finisher. Eric's got close to a million dollars more than him. So if Eric should get lucky and hit an ace, he will knock the cannon out. Well, Vince, this is the battle of the card player, poker player of the year in Eric Baldwin and the potential WPT player of the year in Sean Buchanan. Door card. Here comes a flop. 10-6 deuce. So Eric gets a part of that flop as he flops two deuces. But Sean's still out in front with the two eights. So right now, Eric has paired his deuces but needs an ace or a deuce to take the lead. The cards are right by the board when it came out. <laughs> Speaking of those poker games, Vince, one of them is AC Ducey. That's what Eric Baldwin needs right now. But an eight comes on the turn. It is over. Sean Buchanan is going to win this pot with three snowmen. Doesn't matter the river card. Nothing will help Eric Baldwin here. Sean Buchanan is going to double up. He certainly is, and he's going to absolutely triple Eric. So WPT champ Sean Buchanan doubling up there. Putting a hit on the baseball player, Eric Baldwin, and Vince right now. Eric's got to feel like it's about 10 to nothing going to the bottom of the ninth. Can he come back? Well, he's only 27 years old. Psychology major, great baseball player. A lot of heart from this young poker player. Let's see if he can. Back to the table we go. Action on the cannon as he quickly folds. 
And now Eric Baldwin going to peek down at an ace five of hearts. Uh, he's certainly going to be moving all in with this hand. Yes, he does. And indeed, he does. He's all in with the ace five. Which is it? David Williams with a queen jack. That's a hand he usually likes. Okay, I'm all in. Wow, he goes all in. I'm very surprised that he would go well, all in here with this hand. I have to call it here. If Eric Bowling wins this pot, he'll have close to two million in chips again. Be right back in this thing. Here we go for the first three out of the five. An ace right on the flop. It's come ace nine eight, but it's not over. David Williams can catch a ten to make a straight, or two running diamonds to make a flush. And the way he's running so far at this final table, you can't put that past him, Vince. Uh, we'll see. Here comes the fourth. Two of diamonds. That means if a diamond comes up, David Williams will win this pot as he'll make a flush. So David Williams looking for a diamond or a ten. Either one of those will win it for him. Eric Baldwin holding his breath right now. Oh, oh boy, the chanting chicks on the rail. <laughs> praying for David Williams. Well, the jack of spades comes off. So Eric Baldwin doubles up. And Vince, the baseball player, hits a nice triple right there. He's still in the game. Not without a sweat, though. Four players remain at Bellagio in the Painfield Fontana Lounge. We're coming back with more action. Stay with us here on the World Poker Tour. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Four players remain here at Bellagio in the Fontana Lounge. Now there you see our chip count. David Williams out in front with 10.3 million in chips. In second place, the Canadian Sean Buchanan with 5.6 million. David Benjamin in third place with about two million, and Eric Baldwin in fourth place with 1.5 million. This is the mother of all WPT poker tournaments, the WPT World Championship, and like that, David Benjamin with an ace-seven goes all in. Watch it. Here you count. Sean Buchanan says, "I wow. need to count." As he looks down at a pair of tens, be surprised if he doesn't play this. Six. Hand. He's got a big hand. What? The one Parisian point plunging. Point six, one point eight, one point nine. Telling the cannon how much he has left. Yeah, Sean, I'm certain he's going to play this hand. The question is, do you just call or do you raise? Well, you're just going to call. Yeah. The only way you're going to get re-raised here is if you know someone's got a better hand than two tens. Eric Baldwin out and David Williams yeah, folding sure. a king queen. Yeah, he folds the king queen of spade. Just wants to get out of their way. He's going to sit back and pull for Sean Buchanan to win this pot, where they'll be down to three-handed. So David Benjamin seemingly not having any luck yet so far at this final table. Going to have to have some here to stay alive. Flop was 9-8-6. Oh. So David Benjamin flopped an open-end straight draw. He would love to see Sean Buchanan make three tens right now because that would give him a straight. Have a shot. I'm watching your reaction, Baldy. I can't see it. I'll take the, ten on, the seven on the turn. The ten on but the turn. David Benjamin the looking for a five, oh, a ten, or an ace. If it doesn't That's come, what he's going to have to have. <laughs> Fourth Street coming up. A five comes oh! off. David Benjamin has made it straight. Oh, it is not over, though. Order, though. If Sean catches a seven, he'll have a higher straight. So Sean Buchanan must catch a seven to win this pot. Otherwise, David Benjamin will double up. Incredible. Down to the river. Well, a king comes off. So David Benjamin getting lucky there to stay alive in this tournament. So there you have it. We've got four players left here. A Canadian, a Frenchman, and two Americans fighting it out for this $1.5 million and that coveted WPT World Championship title. And with that hand, I'm sorry to say, but we have run out of time. But join us next time with the exciting conclusion of the WPT World Championship. I don't understand what this is for here. <laughs> 